A bass run is a great way to connect two chords with a short bass line. I'm going to show you four bass runs to get you started. The first bass run I want to show you is G to E minor. So let's say you're playing this bass strum pattern on a G. Bass strum, bass strum, and you have an E minor chord coming up. You could continue with the pattern. Or you could connect them with a the bass run. Here's how I did that. Uh, the measure before the E minor, instead of playing a bass strum, bass strum on a G, I played this. I played bass and a strum. Then on beat three, I played my bass note again from the G chord. That's third fret, sixth string. And beat four, I played second fret on the sixth string. And then I moved to my E minor chord. So it was bass, strum, and then three, two, and then to the E minor. Bass, strum, three, two, E minor. Notice that I formed that E minor chord right away, so I'm ready to strum it. When you play your bass runs, you always want to make sure when you get to the next chord, even if you're just playing a bass note first, you form that chord right away so you can play the chord. You can reverse that and play a run connecting E minor to G. So what I do here is I just start on the E minor chord and play a bass and a strum. Beat three, I play my bass note again from the E minor chord, which will be the sixth string, open. And then beat four, second fret on the sixth string. And then I move to my G minor chord and do a bass and a strum on the next measure. And again, I'm forming that G minor chord right away. So E minor, bass, strum, and then open, two, and then the G chord. When I first learned how to play bass runs, I would practice them by looping them back and forth and back and forth like this. So G, run down to E minor, and back up to G. Makes a nice warm up. Next up, the C to A minor run. This is very similar to the G and E minor bass run. Here's the C to A minor run. This bass run is a whole lot like the G to E minor run, except you're playing your bass notes on the fifth string. So on a C chord, we have a bass and a strum. And then another bass note on beat three, that'll be the uh, third fret, fifth string. And then on beat four, we play second fret on the fifth string. And then we're off and running on the A minor chord. So we have bass and a strum, and then three, two, and A minor. Forming that A minor chord right away. Of course, you can reverse this one as well and play A minor to C. So on an A minor chord, you play the bass note, which is the fifth string open. So bass and a strum. Beat three, you play that bass note again, fifth string open. And then second fret fifth string on beat four, and then move to the C chord. Open, two, and then C. And practice looping this one too, uh, really to get this run into your muscle memory. So C, three, two, and A minor, open, two, and C.
If you check the description below, you're going to find a link to my free downloads page. Of course, you can download anything on that page that you want, but you may especially want to check out the Open Chord Diagrams PDF and the Rhythm Guitar Reference PDF. The Open Chord Diagrams PDF is a page of chords to get you started, and the Rhythm Guitar Reference is chords plus tons of strumming and fingerstyle patterns. The next bass run is C to G. This one is a little trickier because you're going to play your bass run over two strings. Here's the uh, C to G bass run. Because of the distance between the C and G bass notes, I moved to a different bass note on beat 3 instead of playing the same bass note. So here's what I did. On a C I played bass on 5th string, 3rd fret, strum, and then on beat 3 I moved to the 2nd fret on the 5th string, and then beat 4, open 5th string, and then I'm to my G, uh, my G major chord. So bass, strum, and then two, open, G chord. Reverse this one as well. So on a G chord, I play my uh, bass note, which is third fret on the sixth string. So bass and a strum. And then I move to the fifth string and play open and then second fret on the fifth string and then to my C chord. Bass and a strum, then fifth string open, two, and then C chord. And of course practice this run in a loop just like the others. So we have C, down to G, back up to C. All in an endless loop. The last bass run in this lesson is C to F. This one is also played over two strings, and we're going to use the four string F chord. Here's the C to F bass run. I'm using our four string F chord for this one. Just like the C and G bass run, I've got to move to a new bass note on beat three right after the strum. So on a C chord, I do my bass in a strum. And my bass was on the fifth string there, but on beat three, I move to the fourth string, open. Beat four, I play fourth string second fret. And then I've got my F chord. So on a C, I've got bass and a strum, open fourth string, two, F. You can reverse this one, of course, and play F to C. And for that one, I've got my F chord. Again, this is our small four finger or four string F chord. Bass note is on the fourth string, third fret, so bass and a strum. And then on the fourth string, I play fret two, and then open, and then to my C chord. And my bass note for my C chord is on the third fret, fifth string. So F chord, bass and a strum, and then two, open, and then to the C. As with all the others, practice this one in a loop. C to F, back to C. Once you have it, start to pick up a little speed. Just so you can see how bass runs are used in a song, I'm going to play This Land Is Your Land, just the chorus, and I'm going to play a little on the slow side so you can catch all the bass runs. This land is your land. This 
land is my land from california to the new york island from the redwood forest to the gulf stream waters this land was made for you and I use just the one strumming pattern to show how to play bass runs, but you can play them in all sorts of different patterns. Basically, any kind of pattern where you're playing individual bass notes instead of just all strumming is fair game, and that includes both strumming and fingerstyle patterns. And you're not limited to just the four bass runs in this video. Once you get the hang of bass runs, you can experiment connecting other chords too. Now, if you're looking for strumming or fingerstyle patterns, check out this playlist. That's all for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time with more guitar tips.